is going to the toilet actually making you fat? Is it making you heavier? Is it making you stop losing weight? If you were actually on the path to losing weight in the first place, is going to the toilet making you fat? Let me explain a little bit because I was there on the toilet scrolling a bit of Twitter on the shitter as we do. What actually happened to those days when you went to the toilet to have a crap, to have some personal time? It took 10, 15 minutes to chill. No one else could interrupt that. No one could spoil that time. But here is what happens. We live in a world where your Twitter feed, your Instagram feed, your Facebook feed is filled with sponsored articles, sponsored posts, adverts for different detox shakes, especially this time of year, for different diets, for different magic pills, for different fads that aren't going to be sustainable. It's bad enough when you're on your computer, it's bad enough when you're sitting by the TV trying to have a conversation on your phone and you see these pop up. But you end up investing in some advice. You end up getting a plan all sorted for you. You know exactly what training you're going to do, you know exactly what food you're going to have, you know exactly how you were going to track your progress. But it's patience that is going to be key in this plan. It is patience. And you think, cool, I'm ready for this. I'm ready for actually see some results in 12 weeks, 16 weeks, 20 weeks. I'm ready to feel great within a couple of weeks. And you start having your food. You have your big meal, your nice portion of fibrous green veg. And then you need to go and take a crap. That is where the problem lies. Because we go there in the toilet, we end up grabbing our phones. We start scrolling and scrolling and scrolling to the point that we're there taking a crap and we see the magic pill coming up and we think maybe I should just do this. Not only are you playing Russian roulette with the toilet paper just to see if you feel shit, literally, you're then scrolling and putting your finger on the actual phone which if you were born before 1995, you will still realize it's a phone for talking on, not a walkie talkie. But if you didn't take your phone in there in the first place, in that personal time, in that time where it's you and no one else, if you stop that in the whole world come and join you when you take a crap, you wouldn't have to have that detox pill come up and tell you it's going to lose you 20 pounds in seven days. Tell you it's going to be the best thing since sliced bread. Tell you. Tell you that bread is bad. You would not have that. You would simply be taking a crap and enjoying the feeling of then shit out of your body. Good, healthy, Fibrous crap. Literally, no shits given on this post. Because it's the truth. We see so many ads which are directed specifically to you because of what you may have searched on Google. Then we actually commit to something. Then we start to doubt ourselves. Is this going to be the year you commit? Is this going to be the year you follow through? Maybe not the right wording for this subject of the video, but if you are going to follow through on what you commit to, do it. Laser focus. Be focused on what you want to do and get there. If you need the help in doing so, if you need the help to get healthy, to feel more focused, to get more energy, to lose a little bit of weight around here, to start getting your confidence up, to have more sex, in 2019, drop me a message and we can chat nice and quickly.